if we're comparing uh, what Newton's doing, let's say by 1691 or by 1671, with the kind of attainment that we expect from high school children or university level children today, yeah. yes, can you can you give us a rough idea of um, uh, where it stands in, in each of these? So, are, are we saying that some of the stuff that Newton is doing, uh, people would find difficult? Uh, in first, second year at university? No. 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 Absolutely. Do, do you think it's worth discussing that as a, as a, as no. a way of how mathematics has. Yeah, or, or, or not? Well, I, I, I that. think that, uh, um, you know, what Newton does, uh, it is very instructive, I believe, for students of calculus. One, uh, a first year at university. Uh, to study this because they learn the same thing with a different notation and this implies that you have to uh, make a little effort uh, pay attention to the concepts uh, because you are not relying upon a familiar notation that you have learned a little bit blindly so to speak so the first thing that is useful I find for first year students undergraduates is that uh, they are compelled to say, okay, I learned all this algorithm and I, in order to pass my exams, I had to make the hand work. But uh, what this algorithm means, you know, uh, you have to distance yourself from the familiar practice. In the second uh, Play is the second very instructive thing about this exercise that can be proposed to students, uh, to science students in their first year of calculus, uh, is that uh, um, uh, Newton's and Leibniz's way of doing mathematics is much more related to geometry, to mechanics, to practical problems. It's less abstract, it's more concrete. You can visualize things. You are, um, and uh, this also is something that is uh, exciting. I believe the third thing that renders this kind of mathematics exciting is that it is not rigorous. So I think that for young, uh, for students, but for everybody, is interesting to see how far human beings can go without worrying too much about uh, a lot of. Uh, um, a lot of stuff that one has to learn at the university from the very beginning because uh, uh, because uh, nowadays you know the uh, at the end of the 18th century beginning of the 19th century mathematicians began considering uh, pathological curves uh, functions that are complicated and uh, soon in the 18th century people like Weierstrass uh, were able to define functions that are everywhere continuous but nowhere differentiable. So that the function is continuous but has no derivative in any place and so on and so forth. So in order to uh, deal with these more difficult objects, a lot of caution has to be put into the definition of continuity, differentiability, uh, limits, uh, condition of existence, convergence of series, and so on and so forth. It's the famous moment in which the calculus was uh, rigorized, the rigorization of the calculus with Cauchy, with Abel, with Weierstrass, and so on and so forth. But during, you know, the 17th century and most of the 18th century, mathematicians just uh, were led by very optimist idea of how mathematical objects behave. Curves have a tangent everywhere except a few isolated points. Uh, well, the convergence of series, uh, we have seen this series, but they do not converge for all the values of x. They converge, Newton says, when x is small. But what does it mean, small? How small? Well, not too, not too big. Let's add 0 0.1. Okay. And um, while nowadays, uh, you know, the convergence of series has to be treated in very rigorous ways, and uh, there is the story that when uh, Laplace um, uh, uh, heard Cauchy lecturing about the convergence of series, went back home checking that his series were convergent, and they were, but, uh, you know, um, there has been a shift 
uh, at the beginning of the 18, uh, 19th century with the epsilon delta method with the limits uh, notion that has changed the calculus but to see the calculus as such a very uh, how I say intuitive uh, mathematical theory is something that is refreshing uh, for for students I think yeah, I, uh, you know.